Okay, question 42. Jessie had three times as many cookies as Wendy. So after Jessie bought 26 cookies and Wendy bought 62 cookies, they had an equal number of cookies. So how many cookies did Wendy have in the end? So guys, uh, first of all, we have to draw the model. Okay, of course we have a before and after. Before is easy to draw because uh, Jessie had three times as many cookies as Wendy, right? So that means Jesse will have three units and Wendy will have one unit. Okay? Uh, that's basically what we do. When we say you have three times as many, okay, it means that the Jesse has three units and Wendy has only one unit. So we, we can draw it now. So it goes like this. Three units and Wendy has only one unit. Right? So now after after we know that uh, Jesse and Wendy they bought uh, some more cookies. So for Jesse right now she would have more than three units. Okay, so how many more did she buy? She bought twenty six. Okay, and for Wendy, Wendy she bought initially this is what she have. And she bought an extra 62. Can you see it? This is 62. And now Wendy and Jesse, they have the same number of cookies. Okay guys, I, I need you to observe the, the model very carefully. Can you see the two numbers? Always when we want to when we finish drawing the model, always start off with uh, what the number that we have. So look at the numbers that we have and we compare. Can you see this is 62? This is 26. So can, if I take this minus this, I'm left with two units. Okay, I'm sure you see it. So two units, which is down here. Okay, if you can't really see, I can highlight for you. This two units down here, isn't it 62 minus 26? Okay, so two units will be 62 minus 26. I will have 36. So one unit will be 36 divided by 2, 18. Okay? So, how many cookies did Wendy have at the end? So, Wendy will have 1 unit plus 62. Okay? So, it will be 18 plus 62. I have 78. Okay? That's the answer.